This video will show you how to solve a seven firm Carnot model, and this video can easily be extended to any n firm Carnot model. So there are seven identical firms in Carnot competition, each firm with a constant marginal cost equal to $20. The inverse market demand is given by price equals 100 minus 2 times total market output. The total market output, or Q, is the output of each firm, and there are seven of them, so from firm one, adding it up all the way to firm seven. Let's define X. X is going to represent the output of the six other firms. So X is the output of firm two through firm seven, and notice that we're excluding the output of firm one from X. So X is the output of the other, other six firms in this seven-firm Carnot model. Making a substitution, so for Q, I'm going to plug in the output of firm 1 through firm 7. And then I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to factor out the output of firm 1. So doing that, okay, in parentheses now we just got the output of firm 2 through firm 7. And this minus 2 times the output of firm 1, I just moved over here to the far right. And let's now make a substitution in parentheses. We define what's in parentheses here as just X, the output of the other six firms. So here is our inverse market demand. So rewriting our inverse market demand. And now we're going to get total revenue. So total revenue is price times quantity. So for firm one, just the price times firm one's output. Multiplying this firm one's output by what's in parentheses here, we get this result. And now we're going to get marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is the derivative of total revenue with respect to firm one's output. So 100 times Q subscript 1 is just 100. This middle term here will just simplify to minus 2x. And this last term here will be 2 times 2 or minus 4 times the output of firm 1. Setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Our marginal cost is constant at $20. That's what we said at the start of this problem. So we're going to solve this for firm one's output, Q subscript 1. I'm going to subtract uh, 20 from both sides and then move this for Q subscript 1 over to the other side. So doing that, 100 minus 20 is 80. And now I'm just going to divide through by 4. So 80 divided by 4 is 20, and 2 divided by 4 is just 1 half, or 0 0.5. <clears throat> Recognizing that X is the total output of the other six firms, as we defined earlier, the output of firm 2 through firm 7, and because all firms are the same, the output of the other six firms equals firm 1's output multiplied by 6. So in other words, X equals 6 times the output of firm 1. Each firm is the same. Each firm is going to produce the same amount of output. So the output of the other six firms will just be 6 times the output of firm 1. I'm going to make a substitution where I have an X over here. I'm going to plug in 6 times the output of firm 1. And now we're going to just solve this for Q subscript 1. So 0.5 times 6 gives us this 3 over here. Adding 3 Q subscript 1 to both sides. And then dividing through by 4. 20 divided by 4. Firm 1 will produce 5 units of output. And since all firms are the same, firm 2 will produce 5 units of output. Firm 3 will produce 5 units of output and so on. So there are seven firms, each producing five units of output. The total output in this market will be seven times five, or 35 units. So Q, uh, the total industry output is 35. And to get the price, we'll plug this Q equals 35 back into our original inverse demand equation to see that the price will be 100 minus 70, or $30 a unit. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.